right, this is uh, Hunting for Purple Streetlights in Kansas City, video 209, Exhibit B, as in Boston. This is at Barat Avenue and 155th Street. I'm gonna collect an LED pattern again on this light. But this is after about a month, guys. So let's see how this has changed. I might collect some other, excuse me, collect some other ones right here just because it looks like they put up more of them. So they're, they're the gold ones, right? I don't know if they put, they might have put more of ones up to you guys. I'm not sure right now, but you can compare. They keep changing things, guys. And ones where they started to turn purple. If you look, they added lights and stuff like that. Sometimes they didn't even take sodium lights down, but they still put other lights up. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Got a lot of lights right here. It would definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure, actually. No, that was a different intersection. Well, no. I don't know if it was like this in video 25, guys. You can check. 24 or 25. Anyway, we're gonna look at this one. By the way, that's east frontage drive if we go that way. That's I-49 if we go that way. This is 155th Street as I just showed you guys. All right, here we go. see anything here? No. Okay, on this one. Evens and looks like evens again, guys. Look, see it? Here though, um, I don't know. Sure. There's that other one. Anyway, that's what this one looks like. After a month, you can see the progression at least. I think I I think I'm right, guys. I think I don't remember if those other ones were there, but we can check and compare if the evens were above that, like on that panel out to the upper right. We're there, but it looks like the evens are turning purple or quicker. It's an adjacent one, guys. Let's go and look at the other ones. That's a golder one. That's not a golder one. When you see ones that are vanilla like this, but not like golder or copper colored, I think those are candidate ones. And you can look at the number of LEDs on them, like I am now. And at least in the Kansas City area, it seems like when there are two, two fives in each section, two rows of five, Instead of uh, having 15 in each section, three fives, they tend to be the defective lights are sometimes those lights. But I don't I have not seen defective ones of the three fives. Yeah. And this one's still blinking like before. I have no idea why, but let's go ahead and look at it. I've seen an LED panel blink and it blink it blinks a lot faster than this one. It doesn't stay on as long. In uh, Naples, Florida, near Collier Boulevard and Davis. I even, I, I watched the progression, at least from really blue to flashing really blue. And then I, don't, I never saw it after that, but some of the LEDs were already dying in the thing. And another one was cropping up in the same lot, so I know it was a defective light for sure, guys. This is not anything but an electrical thing, guys. These LEDs can blink a lot faster than that. And they're all synchronized, obviously, so. Yeah. Those aren't bad LEDs, guys. I don't know 
why they have a different color here now when I think about it, it's weird. Okay, my guess is that one's 315s. I'm not gonna look at it right now. I don't think it matters. Now, I would be really, I was be kind of disappointed though if I saw blue LEDs appear on those things and I'd be like, wow, well, dang it, I should have seen it. But I'm not gonna waste my time on that because I don't expect that. I have seen an example, though, I think of that in Rochester, Minnesota, so, but I doubt it works. Okay. This one might be a new, like just a really early defective light. Let's look at this one. I think there's more red in this one or orange or something weird. But it's not like a gold bite either. So let's take a look at this <clears throat> Okay, Okay, that was a little bit of a surprise, I guess. It does look kind of like have a different hue, I think, but it's not at all looking defective, so. Here. Yeah, I also visually don't see it. Okay. That one's not even on, so I don't know. What is this simulator? It looks like it's four times two times five. It doesn't look like they're on at least visually. But let's just change our angle. I bet that path over. Perfect one. All right. <clears throat> Over there, almost the other lights too, guys. I don't know if they're defective or not, but it looks like they have LED lights over there now too. Obviously, there's a cycling one right there, which you see happen occasionally on the high. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. See, guys. That means there's not even an electrical issue, guys. That means they just didn't change the lights here, or they shut them off. Like in this case, though, that's obviously. It's supposed to be an old sodium light that's uh, now just entering the mercury vapor phase. Whereas like the sodium became like a salt or something like that in the inside, I think. So you just see the mercury vapor. Also though, look, I saw this in Florida and you can see I documented that really freaking well, but those keep happening by evac routes for some reason. And it wasn't even, it didn't seem like it was about it being dark there either guys. But it sounds like a lot to chew on, guys, so I'm not gonna even get into that. I'm focused on the purple street lights here. I'm not sure what that's for, if it's for the same thing or not. They wouldn't really need these, I would think. Unless it's a redundancy, but I don't know. Okay, for some reason it's not focusing in on this, and I really would like to focus in on this if we you better. So. Okay, I don't see any hint of purple, guys. <clears throat> as far as over there, I see something that looks like a mercury vapor kind of light, right? There you go. Um, boy, would I 
I'd like to. If there are any early ones there, it'd be nice to see the progression of it happen. But, um, I don't know, guys. It's not, my, it's not the top of my list. My top of my list is getting the other data points because if those other streetlights get replaced, oops. Then I didn't get the progression. I already got this one though. And we can go back and compare. Why they had timed the lights the way that they do, guys. Why don't they just load a whole bunch of them at the same time? You guys ever wonder about that? annoying guys why what's the problem okay I don't see any indication of purpling on this one just that one and what on both LED panels guys so let's 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 try to rule things out let's see if it's age guys because do all these turn purple or what guys I don't think so, guys. I'm, I can pretty much tell you. I really don't think so. And if you think I'm wrong about the, them not wanting to ever use an alternating method if it was about a warranty, just look at the panels, guys, themselves. So sometimes they have, but rarely, will they have a sub-panel of 10 that's different than the others by a lot. Because wouldn't that be another method of mixing them? They don't want to do that one. And I think the reason's rather clear. Same reason. By the way, don't you think the city would want to take a picture and be like, hey, look guys, we've got defective LEDs. Why did you guys do every other one like that anyway? We want our fucking warranty right now. Won't they? Just like they could look at one panel on the other one and say, why do you guys have keep having one panel that's purple and another panel that's just white like that? And we don't see that though very frequently. Okay, I don't see any hint of purple on this. Do you guys see that it's not even worth fucking with? Like, would the, what would the city be doing? Anyway, would they be buying them and being like... If it was that infrequent, guys, also notice it stays with the same panels. One day be a one quality control be like, wait, wait, that factor keeps making them that way on that Jason LED panels. But with the LED panels on this, the, both the sub panels on this panel came from the same place. Let's go check out what's wrong at that one place, right? Yeah, think, just think hard about it and you'll know they're lying, guys. They are lying to us. And there is a reason they want to lie to us. It's not something that's uh, benign, guys. It is not a benign thing if you look at them on a map. It's not just at the main roads, guys. It's also in residential areas, upwind of evacuation routes. 
Can you tell me why? Upwind. We're in the general area instead of directly on top. Sounds like a bad thing. I can tell you why, guys. Called a chemical attack. If the wind blows that, you can't breathe the freaking air or you die. And you can't breathe it in because you die. Even maybe if it touches your skin, you die. Okay. <clears throat> And it's not about quarantine, guys, because what about these poor motherfuckers down here? Let's see. We're, we're right here, guys. Where these people are like, you know, we want to stay home and socially distance, guys. But you want to drop the chemicals right on us just to stop the other people from leaving. Yeah, guys, I don't think that one makes a lot of sense, guys. And if you look at it, though, there's less air resistance over the body of water. And there is the, the terrain changes. <clears throat> there are also golf courses around here. Okay, I don't think that's a bad place to put them. They even had more up here though, but what they were probably more confident when they were close to the water, but they had to take those down because people complained, but they still left some right here, guys. And these are freaking clustered. That's actually four of them in one spot, okay? I'm not crazy, guys. You just gotta do your research. And I get these people that gaslight me and they never respond back. Like. I don't mind, like, totally, you know, turning somebody's argument apart or telling them they're wrong and explaining why, but it seems like a waste, and I wonder who they really are. Am I just helping the other people who already know the, the truth and are trying to gaslight me when I respond? I don't see any other active engagement by other people trying to tell them that they're wrong by, look, like, who watch my videos and can tell them that they're full of shit, too. It seems like, I get, basically, I wonder if everybody else is blackmailed and they're all scared to, to say anything. But if they, if they don't say anything, guys, we're fucked. Or, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to walk around and try to shoot at every freaking LED light and, and try to be the only one who cares about it. But somebody freaking explain to me why we shouldn't actually keep sharing the trend. Because if they, if they freaking... If they have one way to do it, then maybe they have other ways, guys. And we need to find out. We need to prove that intent. And we need to, like, get people to care about it, guys. That's the only way you can get justice, and that's the only way you can really prevent it from happening some other way, right? Anyway, all right, that's the end of this video. Oh, let's see. That's where we're at right there.